Jugo Liang marches north to fulfill the dreams of the late Liu Bei. However, he faces a counterattack by Sima Yi and dies at Ujang Plains before he is able to push his way through. His successor, Jiang Wei, is left with no choice but to stabilize domestic affairs for a time. Wu, who had joined Shu in an attack on Wei, was in similar circumstances. Troops and commoners were exhausted thanks to the continuous fighting and time was required to restore Wu's strength. With the attack by Wu and Shu ending in failure, Wei has a moment of peace from attacking enemies. However, there was one enemy Wei had to deal with during this period. Zhang Wei, do you intend to embark upon your northern campaign at once? No. The people of our land are fatigued from our repeated northern incursions. It is important to spend a little time focusing on domestic concerns. I see. You are going to make some improvements to our own kingdom first and foremost. The people will be delighted. Yes. And once that has been achieved, we will prepare for our next northern campaign. Have no fear. We will make preparations as soon as possible and launch another assault upon Wei. I see. Well, I leave it all to you. My lord! It is easier said than done to tell him how I really feel. Lord Liu Chan. Unless we rebuild our war-torn land, the Northern Campaign will be impossible. I would like you all to remember that as you undertake each of your tasks. Would you allow me to say a few words to Zheng Wei? I want all of you to remember that you are not alone. If you run into trouble, do not hesitate to rely upon the strength of your allies. Once you have made some progress in your missions, return here and deliver a status report. We must rebuild this land that has been ravaged by the northern campaigns. For the future of Shu, we... Do you... Welcome, welcome! Please, come again. There is... Ugh! <laughs> 
The heart. We. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Okay. Bandits have set up camp in a base within our territory. We'll need more soldiers. I will attack the base from the west. We need to work the fields. But... These wild beasts make it too hard. What's that? You'll protect us? It seems the beasts aren't attacking anymore. You've saved us! Now, we can grow the crops from the Prime Minister. What will they be like? A success. Looks like I did well. You are simply amazing in battle!
structure has taken a lot of damage. We can't afford to be attacked now. Their attack has failed. This will allow the enemy to escape. They need to plan their attacks better. Come on, lads. We can escape that way. Success. Looks like I did well. We managed to get them all in the end, but I can't help but feel there must have been a better way. How you achieve such success. Good. Emote. Good. Alright, let's see what we've managed so far. Land has been cleared to be used for farming. This should mean we will have no problem securing provisions. The bandits making the people's lives miserable have been eliminated. Domestic security will allow us to focus on foreign threats. It appears base repair is proceeding smoothly. We seem to have enough lumber. The focus we have placed on domestic affairs seems to be reaping rewards. Our people are regaining the vitality needed to embark upon the Northern Campaign. Lord Leo Chan, I am happy to report that Shu has now regained much of its former strength. Things are not quite fully back to the way they were. But in time, peace and prosperity will return. That is good news. I am sure the people are delighted with what has been achieved. But you were forced to complete all of the missions yourself, were you not? I am most grateful for the commitment you have shown. But I do not want you to overdo things. Your words are a greater salve to my fatigue than any medicine, my lord. Now that preparations are complete, 
I suppose you intend to resume the Northern Campaign immediately? I would like to keep a close eye on Wei's movements for now. Our patrols report that Cao Pi's successor, Cao Rui, is unwell. If he does not recover, Wei will fall into chaos. I believe we should wait and see if that happens. I see. Well, I will leave all decisions regarding the resumption of the Northern Campaign to you. My lord. I will continue to monitor Wei closely. Reports indicate that Cao Rue of Wei has died. Leadership has fallen to the young Cao Feng, with Cao Shuang and Sima Yi appointed as regents to guide him. They have put a mere boy in charge. That is a cruel and heartless thing to do. Lord Liu Chun, this is no time to be sympathizing. Cao Shuang has readied a mighty army, and appears to be making preparations to invade our territory. The leadership changes hands, and their first move is to attack us. They must not hold us in very high esteem. I don't think that's it at all. It is said that Cao Shuang wishes to initiate conflict in order to create some achievements of his own to raise his stock. That's the reason they're attacking? I hardly think Sima Yi would allow that to happen. Indeed, Sima Yi would certainly put a stop to such foolish vanity. And the fact that he is unable to do so is indicative of how much his own star has fallen. And if Sima Yi is not around, then our northern campaign should be much simpler than it was in the Prime Minister's days. Simpler? You seem awfully confident, Zhang Wei. Zhuge Liang spent his life attempting this and went to his grave as a result. It will require great sacrifice. Of course, my lord. Please forgive me. I see. Well, as long as you understand the gravity of the situation, for now, we must repel the invading Wei forces. My lord, I swear I will cut down their invasion before it begins! The Wei forces are relying entirely on strength in numbers, and have concentrated their troops in the center. It appears my premonition was correct. Premonition? What do you mean? In a mountain battle, concentrating your forces in a single location is poor strategy. If surrounded by the enemy, you will have nowhere to run. I'm sure that Master Jiang Wei has seen the Wei formation and is assured that Sima Yi is not involved in their command. It may be that Cao Xuan is not a born leader. Sima Yi is absent. And Cao Shuang is a mediocre helmsman. But their army is immense nonetheless. One mistake, and we will be swallowed whole. I believe we should use surprise attacks as the cornerstone of our strategy and rattle the enemy. Our scouts report that the enemy storehouses are poorly guarded. If we can claim them, we will make a significant step towards victory. The ambitions of the Prime Minister and all great men who went before are the legacy of all of us in Shu. It is time to show Wei the strength of our spirit!
We will defeat Sao Xuan and keep Shu safe. As long as we are united in our goal, victory will surely be ours. Repairs to neighboring garrisons all appear to have been made. I am glad we took the time to fix them before the battle. Uh. Uh. Reinforcements from the west. This is all thanks to the fact that we removed the bandits from the area. for the people as thanks for defeating the beasts. the shoe forces. Try not to forget how you achieved such success. Oh, 
enemy is strong. But we can't just give up. through our defensive line. What's that? What is everyone doing? Hurry and reform the defenses of our main camp. It's pretty clear which way this battle's heading. We'd better make the moves we can, while we can. If we can take Mount Xingxi, Xu's defensive lines will crumble. Attack, and don't let up! Just how prodigious my talent truly is. Being so strong is nice. There are many out there who aren't. Why must the men of Wu be so ridiculously tenacious? Curse them! The outpost is safe! Keep attacking! Victory is ours! You are quite strong, indeed. Now, take defensive position. 
positions. If we get beat, the main unit will be in big trouble. Now, we need to focus on defense and keep damage to a minimum. Master Cao Shuang, I've come here to provide reinforcements in my father's stead. Please, leave this to us and fall back to safety. You come in here late, Simashi. With no real commitment, you think you can do better than show me? Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. This ends here and now. Try not to forget how you achieved such success. Oh, it's no good. We can't force things here. The wise move is to retreat. I did the best I could, but she was really determined this time. Victory is ours! Not bad. Lord Sima Chao has been defeated on the front lines. We can't expect any aid. What are you doing, Sima Zhao? You're putting my life in danger. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. They're after our storehouses. I must risk my life to keep them safe. to become a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. Know the extent of my power! Just how prodigious my talent truly is. You are quite strong, indeed. The storehouses have been lost. This will place our allies in quite a predicament. <laughs> Victory is ours! Not bad. Reporting. The supply depot has been taken by the Shu forces. What's that? 
Just how are we supposed to fight without provisions? Ugh. There's nothing to fear from Shu without Jubileon. Hurry up and crush them! My talent truly is. This is you are quite strong, indeed. Know the extent of my power. This defeat is not my fault. It's the soldiers who can't even carry out a single command. The way forces have retreated. We must rejoice that we have kept our homeland safe. We have put a stop to the advances of the Wei forces and have even managed to push them back. I want to thank you all for your devotion and commitment. Even when I fought alongside my brothers, we were never able to claim a victory of any significance over Wei. But now, at last, we have. I feel like I've finally made a contribution. But. We must take into consideration the fact that Sima Yi was not there. If Cao Xuan continues to take the primary leadership role, then I am sure we can win again. But... I do not believe Wei will let that happen. After such a miserable defeat, they are sure to make changes of their own. They sent out a massive military force while their own land was still in turmoil and suffered a humiliating defeat. Sima Yi will not just let that go unchecked. We must continue to keep a close eye on Wei's movements.
So you must be Shaho Ba, who has joined us from Wei. I understand you are related to Shin Sai. How is it that I can help you? Well, I'm not quite sure I know where to start. First of all, I take it you've heard about the political upheaval in Wei? I am aware that Sima Yi has seized control of the court during the absence of General Cao Chuang. The Sima clan has taken over control of Wei, from the Cao clan. That's right, and that means that... As the Sha Ho clan has always had close ties to the Cao clan, it is only a matter of time before your position is in jeopardy as well. I knew you'd get it, Master Jiang Wei. Since you seem to understand, then you know why I'm here. I don't want to die over something like that. So, I thought I'd use the connection I have through my cousin marrying Master Zhang Fei and come see you all here. Please, my lord, you must allow me to serve you. Here in Shu, we do not turn our backs on those in need. Shahoba, from today on, you may consider yourself one of us. Yes, my lord. I will make this a new beginning. In that case, begin by telling us all you can about the current state of affairs in Wei. The recently concluded Battle of Mount Xingxi, was that initiated by Cao Shuang himself? Oh, yeah. Well, we all tried to stop him, but, you know... Master Cao Chuang wouldn't listen. He just kept going on about how he would show the world his might. Master Sima Yi didn't say anything. Now that I think about it, that was probably all part of his plan to oust Master Cao Chuang. After all, he made his move right after that. So he allowed Cao Shuang to make a grave error, knowing that it would only serve to sway public opinion his way? Sima Yi is a terrifying man. Even a great military defeat is nothing more than one step in a much grander plan for him. But it is also true that there are some things that even he could not predict, that Master Sha Ho Ba would defect, for example. Lord Leo Chan, I think it is safe to assume that the Northern Campaign has drawn much closer. Jiang Wei, let us discuss that another time. For now, I wish to welcome our new comrade. You must be tired after your long journey, Shaho Ba. I hope you will take the time to relax. Thank you very much! Lord Liu Chan, we have just received a messenger from Wu. It would seem that Master Sun Quan has passed away. His son, Master Sun Liang, is to inherit the leadership of the kingdom. Master Sun Liang? Is he not still just a young boy? Even in Wu, a heavy burden falls on the shoulders of one too young to bear it. Xinzai, I will observe a period of mourning. Please, send a messenger to Wu carrying my condolences. Lord Leo Chan! Sima Shi of Wei has used the occasion of Shun Quan's death to launch a full-scale invasion of Wu. This is a tremendous opportunity for us. Now is the time when we must resume our northern campaign. I understand how you feel, Zhang Wei. But we have lost a long-treasured ally in Master Sun Quan. We must observe a period of mourning. If we attack, Wei will be forced to respond, and will withdraw most of their troops from their assault on Wu. 
Is that not the most appropriate course of action we could take to help a treasured ally? I suppose that is one way of looking at the matter. Very well. I will leave the decision to you. Do you still wish to begin preparations for the Northern Campaign? I do. Time is of the essence. I see. I understand you are the type who likes to do everything yourself, but I want you to take care not to overdo things. We must all help each other and proceed using the spirit of cooperation. Yes, my lord. I will begin at once. Wei's preoccupation with its battle against Wu will be our greatest chance. We must quickly make preparations for the Northern Campaign.
This northern campaign is mere folly, which will drain the kingdom of the last of its resources. You must listen. Bandits are wreaking havoc throughout the territory. Our first priority must be to eliminate them. How can we even think about a northern campaign when we haven't even got rid of the bandits plaguing the kingdom? I simply must object. All right. Good. I need uh. everyone to defend uh. this area. Fight for way no longer. I have decided to surrender to Shu. I have to get away somehow. Wait, Li Jian. I will not allow you to betray us. You will come with me instead. There is no chance of bringing Lee John back home with me now. I have no choice but to withdraw. Thank you so much for your help. Please, allow me to join your army. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Victory is ours! You are always sure to impress me, Zhang Wei. Oh, that's some excellent fighting. So you have dealt with the bandits. Our cavalry has degenerated almost beyond recognition. It no longer serves any... Master Guo Shun is secretly meeting with an officer of Wei. Has he betrayed us? 
He said he was going to Fu Castle. I think I should follow him and find out the truth. We don't need to train. Do better from now on. Our civil officials are lazy, and they're not getting through their work. If this is allowed to stand, our kingdom will cease to function. Master Guo Shun? He's already left. He said he's going to rest at Neon Ju Gate. Goshun has already set out. He should be at Chengdu soon. Ugh! <laughs> 
Master Guo Shun should already have arrived in Chengdu. Thank you for your aid. What? A friend with the way did approach me. There's something I probably need to tell you first. I've lost a very important letter. Could you help to find it? Uh, a letter? The letter. Just between us, the Imperial Secretariat is carrying a vital letter. Go! 
Remarkable. Another problem solved. But I am afraid that was not the last. Our civil officials are lazy. And they're not getting through their work. If this is allowed to stand, our kingdom will cease to function. Master Guoshun's innocence has been proven. A success. Looks like I did well. You are all remarkable. Another problem solved. Our civil officials are lazy. Remarkable. Our civil officials are lazy. And they're... I want our preparations for the Northern Campaign to be flawless. It appears our fears that Master Guo Shun may have been in league with the Wei have been proven groundless. Good. Master Li Jian has surrendered to Shu! That is wonderful news! All preparations for the Northern Campaign have been put in place! We will soon be able to achieve the Prime Minister's great goal! Thanks to the splendid efficiency displayed by all of our forces, our preparations for the Northern Campaign are complete. All that is left is to launch the attack against Wei. I see. Please let everyone know how much I appreciate their efforts. I will leave the final decision regarding the timing of the attack to you as well. My lord, I will begin planning our formations and marching routes at once. Lord Leo Chun, our troops are in position, and our plans have been finalized. Now is the time. We will begin our assault on Wei! I see. May fortune smile upon all of you. You know, this reminds me so much of when Zhuge Liang did the same thing. Yes. How many years has it been? The Prime Minister staked his very life on the Northern Campaign. I will follow his lead, and put my life on the line in this battle as well. I wish to bring the long-cherished dream of my father and my brothers to fruition. And I intend to pay back on the battlefield the debt I owe you for taking me in. It doesn't matter anymore where I was born. I have to show the world that I'm committed to my new home. Yes, everyone feels the same way. We will win and create a true land of virtue. You have each displayed unquestionable commitment to our cause. But our opponent is one against whom even Zhuge Liang struggled. I want you to make sure you do not take any unnecessary risks. I want us all to survive and witness together the realization of a land of virtue and benevolence.
I am a little concerned that we may not have enough troops for this battle. In order to guarantee our victory, I have asked for help from the Cheung tribe. Unfortunately, even with their help, we are still no match for Wei's numbers. We must be sure to secure each mountain checkpoint as we proceed. The terrain here is steep and threaded with the narrowest of roads. If any unit is out of step with the rest of the army, it will be surrounded at once. At the same time, any renegade enemy units should be easily overcome. The army which can view the battlefield with a broader perspective will win. The enemy forces are led by Sima Yi's two sons, Sima Shi and Sima Zhao. The elder brother, Sima Shi, is a cunning manipulator who takes after his father. As for the younger, it's kind of hard to explain. Yes. I heard a little about them when I was in Wei. I could ask for no more worthy opponents than the Sima brothers. In order to realize the dreams of the Prime Minister and our other grand ancestors, we must bring them to heel! We must realize the Prime Minister's dream with our own hands. This time, the Northern Campaign will be... Success and Wei will be defeated! The enemy is camped on Mount Tai Long. If we can claim the mountain, it will serve as a good foothold to the north. I have to prove myself as an officer of the Shu. I'm going into battle too. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Attack as many times as you like. You can't win. This is true power. The only true thing here is the just determination of Master Jiang Wei. The power of the shoe cannot be easily assuaged. Wow, you have that certain aura that surrounds great warriors. looking toys you have there. With toys or no toys, you will not go any further. My juggernauts are no toys, as you will soon see for yourself. Know the extent of my power. Try 
Try not to forget how you achieved such success. <laughs> Jam. They may be more of a handful than we anticipated. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Victory is ours! You performed great as always! There was no need for my strategy! to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. This is a vital supply point for us. We cannot allow it to be infiltrated by Shu forces. Just another reason we must take this place, no matter the enemy!
Vengeance here and now! The supply point will be lost. It seems I am still no match for the heroes of yore. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Victory is ours! You are unstoppable! Sorry to keep you waiting. I will now deploy my juggernauts and sweep the enemy aside. What? Nanan has fallen? This is over. Retreat and secure supply lines. Look. Defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. My mission is to keep this place safe. I will not allow anyone to breach it. Out of my way! The north side of Mount Tai Long is ours! My wounds are not yet fully healed, but the warrior's code dictates that I must carry out my mission no matter what the circumstances. Make no excuses. I must withdraw. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Victory is ours! You are simply amazing in battle! Chengdu! The wave forces are here? Then we have to drive them back! Our attack of Yangping Gate has failed! Fall back! See just how prodigious my talent truly is. Victory is ours! Oh, that's some excellent fighting. Amazing! You sure know how to fight! This 
battle has never been won in which the Chun people have had any interest. We have no intention of moving from here. The Xiong promised to give their aid to Shu. I fear the way General had a hand in this. Ugh. Mi Deng is a greedy coward. Let's prepare a tribute and then apply some pressure. Mi Deng. Got some great stuff here. I appreciate I I appreciate your cool. business. Welcome, welcome. again. to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. I will resist with all my might and stop the threat posed by Jiang Wei's army. No, no, you will not lay so much as a finger on my beloved aunt. I will send you to the afterlife instead. You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms. The Shu army is fully committed to this invasion. But in the end, it will be we who laugh last. Victory is ours! Wow! You have that certain aura that surrounds great warriors.
message from Lord Jiang Wei. He has defeated Shu Ji and is ready to act. <laughs> with us. All because I had to clean up after Li Xiang. Lord Liao Hua. A message from Lord Zheng Yi. He has cornered Shu Ji. We must take this golden opportunity to defeat Shu Ji. If we can do that, we can use our secret plan. Take defenses position. This ends here and now. They overwhelmed us. I can't face the others after being defeated like this. Reporting. We have successfully defeated Shu Ji. Take the uniforms of the enemy soldiers we have defeated. Tell the troops we are to proceed disguised as Wei forces. Victory! Ours! Are unstoppable. Uh. Oh. Ah, reinforcements. Hey, hold on. Why are you attacking us? What's going on? Why are uh. our allies attacking? Uh. Is this a betrayal? <laughs> to defend this area. Do you bandits not know your place? I will purge this land of your presence. Brother, watch over me. I may still be weak, 
but I will give this my all. I have failed my mission. I am truly worthless. Victory is ours! Being so strong is nice. There are many out there who aren't. Will we be able to Some excellent fighting. You've done well to make it as far as Mount Chi. I'm surprised you'd want to dig your grave so far from home. Pay no heed to his hot air. Once we get through here, we reach Mount Tylog. Uh, you people don't know when to quit. Staying here any longer would be a waste of my time. Now you see just how prodigious my talent truly is. Victory is ours! Try not to forget how you achieved such success. You are quite strong, indeed. My talent truly is. Being so strong is nice. There are many out there who aren't. Do you want to fight with me? Okay. I guess I don't have much of a choice. to force me to retreat. But I know that losses on your side are significant as well. Be 
These guys are fighting with some serious fire in their bellies to overcome me. It's only a matter of time before that fire burns out. Mount Tai Long is ours. To be honest, we've gained very little from this war. All that preparation, and this is all we have to show for it? Way's just too powerful. We have somehow managed to claim Mount Tai Long. Yes, but it's come at quite a cost. It might be tough to go much further. Jian Wei! Wei reinforcements are on their way from Shun Un. What do you want to do? It might be kind of tough to hold them off. Ugh. I knew Wei had far greater resources than us, but it is most galling to be bested in this manner. We have hit them with everything we have, yet they still have enough left for reinforcements. If we allow any more men to die here, this battle will have been for nothing. We must begin preparations to retreat. We will leave defensive troops in place on Mount Tai Long and return home. Our people were united as one, we prepared immaculately, and yet what do we have to show for this battle? A single mountain. We may not have tasted defeat, but this can hardly be considered a victory either. Next time, next time I will prepare better and put plans in place for every eventuality. shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. And I am afraid that this is all we have achieved on this occasion. I must take full responsibility for this failure. The fault lies squarely with me. I beg your forgiveness. What do you have to apologize for, Zhang Wei? Our men fought bravely and with unity and claimed victory. On top of that, you have made it safely back home to Shu. This is a wonderful thing. You must be tired from the battle. Really, you need to rest. What are you talking about? We cannot be satisfied with such paltry achievements. What would I say to the Prime Minister or Master Liu Bei? No, we must resume our northern campaign. Your passion is commendable. But I would like you to think of the soldiers and the ordinary people. They need time to rest as well. They cannot just keep on fighting forever. Of course. But tell me, my lord, how can our people ever truly rest? There is no relaxation to be had in a precarious situation in which war against Wei could break out at any moment. 
Our people will only know true peace once we eliminate Wei and bring about our land of virtue. I see. Well, I certainly hope that time will be soon. To that end, I will devote my every waking hour to a plan to overcome the forces of Wei. For the sake of our dream of a land of virtue and benevolence! <laughs>